So this is the outdoor router category six, um, 4G, it's 4G router really. So um, I'm making this video separately because we are, well, we've done two videos so far on our own internet masts and I didn't want to make the video too long, but also if you were looking through the internet for an outdoor, you know, weatherproof router, you probably wouldn't find this video or you wouldn't find that video because uh, it's about the mast. So I'm making this one so that if you were looking for it, hopefully you can see what this is. Um, and it's just a bit easier for everybody to find on the internet. So we'll have a look inside. It's a cool looking thing. It's nicely packaged. So it's this really sturdy metal, really sturdy metal enclosure with, uh, you know, waterproof inlets. It's, it's way, way better than some of the other ones that, um, that I was looking at. And it, it comes with all the bits that you need. I've also got two of these, which are antennas. It comes with little, little antennas, but I thought for our purposes, if you watch the other video, you'll, you'll see why I'm looking at these, but it came with two of these as well, which are hopefully gonna make things a bit faster for us, at least improve the signal. So I think what we'll do is we'll put it together, although there's not much assembly needed, and we'll see we'll see what it's like. I haven't I haven't really opened it yet, so you'll you'll be living this with me. That was pretty painless. The top two are four gigahertz. Gigahertz? Four, let me just check. It just says 4G. 4G. 
So the top two are 4G and the bottom are 2.4G and the bottom are the Wi-Fi. So this gives out a Wi-Fi signal so you can connect it to your phone and things remotely. And these are the receiver signals. So the big directional antennas that I've got there are gonna plug into the top here to replace these. But I just wanna keep these on for testing because they're quite big and bulky and hard to move around. So you just screw them on, they're really easy. There's a slim, SIM slot there for a SIM card, but it's got two slots in it. So it's gonna be interesting to see if I can put two SIM cards in there and double the speed. I don't know what the second slot is for, perhaps it's for redundancy, I don't know, but we're gonna test that in the other video. And then it's got these um, ethernet ports here. I did wonder if the ethernet was gonna fit through there because it's quite a, a normal size gland and the, you know, ethernet plugs are square and I've got that big top on, on but it, it did fit through in the end, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna skip this next bit because you're not gonna to wanna to see me. My, my next test was, does this provide power over ethernet from a Mac adapter? And the answer is no, so I've gotta go and get power uh, to this, this is not really how it's, this is this, the max problem, not not this is problem. So I'm gonna go and get it plugged in and um, just make sure it's, you know, connecting and then we'll, we'll come back and just see what the setup procedure's like. I thought I'd probably bring you along with this bit because I'm clicking past screens that seem to not be able to, I don't know if you can get them back. So um, what I've done is, so I tried, it's all a mess in here, this, we're working our way through building this as a, you know, we've got a different office. So this is a, um, a different ethernet plug. You know, it goes into the wall and then it's got power and then it's got internet on one side. I tried it on that because that's already plugged in. It doesn't work. So you have to use the, um, the one that it comes with and then the green lights on the bottom come on. At the minute I've plugged it straight into the PC so that we have um, you know, the Wi-Fi, you have to seem to set it up. So I've plugged it straight in the back there. And then we've got to this screen here. So you type in the, type in the IP address that it says there, and it takes you to the setup page. You have to set your password. Um, I'm not really sure on all the other settings. I'm just gonna leave them as default. And then it says, waiting for configuration. Configuration has been applied. Okay, so it looks like we've set it up. We've got the password. Now what we need to do is setting the Wi-Fi, um, setting the Wi-Fi hotspot. So let's go to network, wireless. Well, I have to say, it just looks like we are on the internet right now. Let me, I can't quite believe how easy that was. I've left all the settings as they were. I didn't have to add any Wi-Fi um, settings either. And although there was that issue when I plugged it into the ethernet, that's probably because I've got the, the router just sat in the office on the, you know, it's not in a good place. Um, one thing I would say that I've, I'm not, I'm no internet expert on this. I'm just the guy having a go at it. Um, but it's a Cat6, says on, the side, says on the side, Cat6, UK, outdoor router, blah, 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 blah. But the cable they provide is Cat5e, and the cables I've picked to use are Cat6 Cat because I've got them lying around. So I don't know if that's going to be worse or better. I'm not actually sure if those are the same things, but that's just a comment worth, worth mentioning. But I'm, I might be wrong with that. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's the case. The big win on this is they, they include the Allen key, which is handy. Um, and then these guys, the antennas, I'm gonna be putting on on the other video. So I've done this as a quick, um, like I said, a quick focus on, on the setup. I thought it'd be a bit more complex than that, actually. I thought the video would be a bit longer with some problems and some, some issues, but it wasn't. That was really, really easy. Um, so in the other video, which has already come out if you're, uh, if you're watching this one, we will mount it. We're gonna do speed tests. We're gonna do location tests. And we're gonna do tests with the antennas here and see what the differences are with that. So this is just kind of an unboxing and a demonstration of it. Um, so I didn't have to put that in the other video. And then the, if you go and watch the other one, if, you, if you're still interested, you'll see all the testing and the speeds and the proper, proper performance of it there. So if you'd like to come and see that, like to see you there. We'll see you then.